so it's 2 17 p.m i'm out and about she made all those threats and she's still sitting here so well while he comes in right by me so see right when I started the video he he come to sit right by me and dis disrupt my video get that away from here and those are the people same kind of people who be rude and won't help so yeah immediately after I started the video so it looks like I'm going to still have to be on the streets tonight. Um, I was trying to raise funds to get more hotel or motel room help. And right when I started the video, that's when everybody's talking loud near me, trying to overpower my voice. And I have no family support. And um, the shelters are bad. TI community says to stay away from shelters and you know I can't be around my family they're, they're dangerous and abusive and shelters is out of the question so I was hoping that I can get I'm it seem like you know I don't have an address and so I need to find a way to get an address so that I can get job opportunities and possibly housing and whatever other so-called fake government assistance or whatever. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to either, either suffer on the streets every night with no place to use the bathroom or no place to rest, no place to shower. And I'm going to have to either, I'm going to have to keep trying to ask, raise funds for hotel room, food and bus fare every single day. So, so this is no way to live. That they're forcing, that they're forcing me to have to live like this. And even men are cold-hearted. And um, I thought men were supposed to be protective of women, but nope. And then I thought women, I thought that women would have the same kind of sympathy as another woman, but nope. So, I'm trying to get any and all the help I could get.